Hey guys, it's Matt here. I wanted to do a quick video on adding a map collection in Avenza Maps. So you can see that I've got the app downloaded here. Uh, once you go ahead and open it up, um, if your app is brand new, there won't be any of these folders in here. Um, but all you'll do is down in the lower right hand corner, uh, you'll press this orange button and you'll wanna add a collection. That'll allow you to move seamlessly from map to map um, rather than having to go back out and open up another map when you're riding. So we'll go ahead and just call this test. Once you've created your folder, go ahead and open it up. And down here on the lower menu bar, you'll go ahead and click store. And all you need to do is type in uh, SXS in the search bar and all of these maps will show up here. Um, so we'll go to one that I haven't downloaded, number five, and just go ahead and click that. Should open up in the store. And we'll purchase that and it should begin downloading automatically. Once those are downloaded, I'll go back out into another folder here. Uh, what you should see is when you go to a map, um, in the upper left hand corner here you can see which map you're on as it's highlighted in orange. And then if you move to the right or left or up or down, it should seamlessly go over to the other map. Now something that's helpful when you're out riding is you can go down and press the three little dots down in the lower right hand corner and you'll want to hit record GPS tracks. And make sure you start it by pressing the green button. And now it's recording uh, so you can see where you've gone. It makes it easier to find your way back or if you want to hit different trails on the way back, uh, makes it a little easier to see where you've came from. Now with this screen where it takes up half of your, your screen space here, um, the easiest way to get it all the way down back at the bottom when it is recording is to go over, click on GPS, and then click the little arrow that's right above tracking, and that should minimize it down to the bottom so you've got your entire screen space here. And then just make sure to click that little straight line under tracking to open it back up, and hit stop when you're done recording your ride, and you can see the tracks and where you went, and it tells you a bunch of cool statistics about your ride. Um, I think that pretty much covers uh, kind of the basics of downloading maps. Make sure you put them in a collection here so you can move back and forth to them easily. And uh, go enjoy your ride.